Uh, what was the key with the power play tonight? Patience, <coughs> able to everything? Power play's been good all year, and, uh, you know, it's been a weapon for us, and, you know, uh, we stuck it in the net. We didn't make them pay for taking penalties last game. We wanted to make sure we did tonight, and we did. Does that make a big difference when you do make them pay well, for taking penalties? Of course, of yeah. course, you know. Um, you know, if they're going to play physical and run around and, and do things like that, you've got to make them pay for, for that on the power play, and we did. What can you say about Jake from start to finish? I mean, yeah, all the way till six seconds left to all the breakaways at the beginning as well. Yeah, I, he, was, he was our best player tonight. You know, I thought uh, thought we grinded hard. We got a lot of contributions. It wasn't the prettiest game, you know, but it was a gutsy, gritty road effort. But he was our best player, and he had to be. Uh, with Tyler, obviously, he's uh, been a good scorer yeah. all his career, but uh, especially on that power play, it looks like as much as he's taken the spot of Pavelski, that he's kind of taken that type of shot yeah. that uh, Pavelski scores on also. Yeah, we, we needed Segi to, to fill in for, you know, that's a, that's a big hole with Pav out. And, uh, you know, we had uh, uh, earlier in the year, um, who, did, who did we have missing? I think... Uh, Rupe missed some time, and say, and Tyler jumped in there at center with those guys, and and really got us through a really tough stretch of games with Rupe out of the lineup. So he's doing it again now, and uh, that's what depth, you know, gives you the uh, the ability to do. They have a history of pulling the goalie and trying to pu make that push at the end of games. Yeah. How important is it to have that calm and to be able to get out of here without having to go to overtime? Yeah. I mean, you know, we we had to win, and you know, obviously, if if they score at the end there. You're going into overtime, and, and they probably have most of the momentum at that point. So we wanted to finish it off. We got a, we got some big blocks. I thought Rupe Hins blocked two shots in the third. You know, when, you, when your best players are doing that, um, you know, that's, that's always a key to the group. When you took the job, you mentioned that you watched game seven with the staff uh, a lot. With Jake, is it just something about these big moments where it seems that he just he's able to take it to a different gear the way he did last year in Game Seven? Yeah. Again today. Yeah, he 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 recognizes um, you know the importance of situations, and um, you know I, I think I've said that before. I think that's the the real sign of elite goalie. It's not that you're shutting the other team out every night. It's you know, you you raise your level at the most important time. And tonight it was, you know, in the last minute of the game. Uh, when officiating is kind of, you know, on both sides, just, yeah. you know, kind of uneven, what allows you to kind of fight through? You said you have to capitalize on the chances you get and kill the ones that you don't, yeah. uh, that go the other way. How do you kind of, you know, look at the flow of the game when that? Yeah. Uh, well, exactly that. I mean, you know, the, the, the officials are, are out there doing the best they can. And, um, you know, they're not going to get every call right. Um, but, you know, I thought, uh, you know, again, special teams were a big part. And, and we're a good special team team. We have been all year. And, you know, I, I've said this before. They, they take penalties. And when they do, we have to make them pay.